are you ready to take your AI-generated images to the next level? Get ready, because Stable Diffusion XL is here, and it's officially supported in the automatic 1111 web UI. While it's still being refined and hasn't been merged with the master branch, you can already start using it and see the amazing results that many people have been posting. But before you dive in, there are a few prerequisites you need to install. Don't worry, it's super simple. First, you'll need Git and Python 3. 10.6, installing Git is a breeze. Just head over to the official website, git-scm.com, choose your operating system and download the installer. For Windows users, there are separate installers for 32-bit and 64-bit systems, so make sure to choose the right one for your CPU. Once Git is installed, open the command prompt and type Git to check if it's working properly. Next, we need to install Python 3, 10.6. Follow the link provided to go to the Python Downloads page, select the installer for your OS, and proceed with the default settings. Just make sure to tick the option to add Python to environment variables. Now let's install Stable Diffusion in Automatic 1111. Visit the official repository of Automatic 1111. Click on the code dropdown and copy the HTTPS link. Open a folder where you want to install Automatic 1111, right-click and open the terminal. Use the git clone command followed by the copied HTTPS link to clone the repository. Within seconds, you'll have it cloned. Navigate into the repo using the cd command, then switch to the SDXL development branch by typing git switch SDXL, and voila! You're now in the SDXL branch ready to unleash Stable Diffusion's power. Windows users should run the webuser.bat script while other users can run their respective scripts. This will download and install all the necessary files and packages, including PyTorch. Once it completes, it will start running on your local machine at localhost, 7860. Now, here's an important step. Copy the STXL0 9 safe tensor file to the model stable diffusion folder inside the stable diffusion web UI folder. You can find a copy of this file from the Hugging Face repository, which is now accessible to everyone. Fill out the necessary form and they'll grant you access. With everything set up, you can now run the web UI. Select the SDXL 0.9 inches tensor from the checkpoints drop down and let the web UI process the file. After a brief moment, you'll be ready to generate amazing results. For stability, it's recommended to close the terminal and window and restart the web user bat script. Oh, and one more thing, if you encounter any issues generating images with all in ands, don't worry, there's a quick fix. Open the USIP bat script file in a text editor like Notepad and add the argument. No halfway to the command line args. Save the file and run the script again. Now you'll finally get those fantastic images you've been waiting for. But keep in mind, sometimes the initial generated image may not be perfect. To improve the quality, simply increase the resolution to 2024x2024. Now you'll see a significant improvement in the generated images. Give it a try and witness the magic. It's important to note that generating images with stable diffusion requires a bit more VRM. On my system, it takes around 10 to 12 GB compared to Comfy UI's 8 GB. But don't worry, optimization is still underway and this will be further improved in the official release. While stable diffusion produces impressive results with various prompts, it's worth mentioning that Auto 11.11 currently doesn't support ensemble models. So unfortunately, you won't be able to use the refiner model like in Comfy UI, which adds incredible details to colors, faces, hands, and outfits in the generated images. One thing to note is that the refiner model tends to make all the faces look quite similar, but hey, there's always room for improvement, right? As the SDXL branch is still under development, make sure to run git pull every now and then to get the latest features and fixes. You can also check the comment history on GitHub to see if any new changes have been added before pulling. So what are you waiting for? Give stable diffusion in automatic 11.11 a try. Stay tuned for the official release of SDXL where we'll explore running it on low VRM devices, AMD devices, and M1M2 MacBooks. Exciting things are coming your way.